What's up guys, it's Eric. I've got a new build here. Uh, this is basically a 1 7 scale arm Italian uh, on the Mojave chassis. So it's kind of like Italian XL. Super sweet looking ride. Um, I'm sure someone's done this. I know people have done the uh, Creighton XL 1 7 scale Creighton on the Mojave chassis, but I haven't seen a whole lot of the Italian on this uh, platform. So I decided to go ahead and give that a try. Since I love the Italian so much, I decided to go ahead and uh, make the uh, extra long uh, platform with it and I'll see how she does. The body is a Proline Ford Raptor body. Uh, it fits on here perfect because it's got this extended cab right here so it makes the whole body a little bit longer and uh, just cutting out this back right here it fit up absolutely perfect to that rear tower uh, again that's just something i already has sitting in the garage it's painted up yellow i thought it'd be a perfect uh perfect body for this truck again it is running the m2c mojave chassis along with the plus five millimeter universal hexes right here uh, m2c universal hexes these uh, also fit techno low c in the entire uh, armor range uh, eight scale range um, it's got different pin holes in it so what it did is it gave me an extra 10 millimeters of width along with the extra length of the chassis. So it makes for a killer, uh, a killer platform. On the inside, as far as electronics, I decided to go with a Hobby Star 4082 uh, 2000 KV paired with a Max 8 ESC. I may need to go up to a Max 6. I'm just gonna see how she handles, how the temps are. Um, I wanted to keep this truck as light as possible. Also sporting the Basher Queen carbon fiber towers front and rear, again, to uh, help keep her light as possible. Uh, so big shout out to a Kimberly Sanchez and her awesome uh, carbon fiber parts. Uh, it's got a hot racing diff case in the back. It's got the new M2C uh, drive shaft in the front here. The Mojave drive shaft, this is a minus two millimeter to shorten it up a little bit because some guys were having issues, especially with a build like this. Under chassis flex, the front uh, drive shaft was bending, so hopefully uh, minus two millimeters will uh, solve it. I'm also running the M2C drive shafts in the front. I don't have some for the rear yet, but uh, we'll just uh, see how these hold up. I'm running a Power HD 23 kilogram servo in here. A lot of guys ask me what servo I use in my basher vehicles, and that's it right there. That's all I ever use. Uh, they're definitely tough. They're not the fastest, but they just hold up to uh, some tough abuse, and that's, what, that's the only thing I'm really worried about. So again, it's the Power HD waterproof uh, 23 kilogram. I'm also running the new Italian belted guitars on here, and I've got one million weight in the center diff uh, with 50,000 in the front and 30,000 in the back. So we're gonna give her a quick little blast and see what's up. She's definitely got some get up and go. Oh. I almost lost it in the sun. <laughs> Forgot to mention guys are burning a 23 tooth pinion in here uh, with these belt to guitars i wouldn't recommend that for general bashing i'm just doing that just for the uh, street launches and stuff because i definitely uh, need the speed uh, so for dirt bashing i'll probably drop down to a 20 which is about the equivalent uh, to an 18 tooth with regular guitars uh, since these are built that they don't balloon you're not going to get that extra diameter which increases your uh, gear ratio so i'll probably uh, definitely drop down to a to a 20 for uh, dirt bashing Right, that was about a full pack. I just want to check the temps real quick on this Hex 8. This is actually a Hex Fly 8. Um, I said Max 8 in the beginning, but it's basically the same thing. Uh, let's see, we got 102 degrees on that. And about 140 or so on the motor. You probably can't see that because of the sun. That's not too bad. Again, this is just uh, street ripping and launching. Again, I'm running a 23 tooth. I would definitely recommend dropping down to at least a 20 or an 18 for dirt bashing. So far, guys, I'm loving this build. It just handles like a monster Italian. 
Uh, she still uh, runs like she's on rails, flies like a bird, super balanced. So I'm uh, really digging it so far. All right, guys, I threw on a 19-tooth pinion out here playing in the dirt and also threw on the regular non-belted guitars. Uh, should be a little bit smoother in the bumpier terrain. So we'll give her another rip, see what's up. Guys, this thing handles so nice. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, that was smooth. a smack <laughs> oh on her feet all right guys that's gonna be it with the first run with the uh, monster Italian here the 17 scale Italian XL again on the Mojave chassis uh, everything's held up on her Basher Queen Towers did great once again of course the M2C chassis Always does amazing, perfectly straight still, even after all those uh, mega launches in the beginning of the video. All the drive shafts are still perfectly straight. These M2C drive shafts uh, should be dropping soon, so you guys keep a lookout on the website. We'll keep you guys posted as well on social media and YouTube, etc. So, uh, and again, that's just a huge upgrade, uh, icing on the cake for these uh, 6S rigs and also the 8S rigs too, which are also available. So everything looks, uh, looks good. So again, big shout out to a Basher Queen M2C Racing. Norma again for uh, their versatility of their rigs being able to uh, switch these babies up and create your own little monsters so uh, we'll get out again soon all right guys until next time RC dude 81 peace out